Carl's Jr. is putting Philly cheesesteak on a burger. Now, I love burgers, and I love Philly cheesesteaks, but can a fast food place do this, pull it off, and make it good? Well, we're gonna find out right after this. Welcome back to Brick Eats. I'm your host, Brian Brickman. That's right, baby, Carl's Jr. I'm at a Love's truck stop eating at Carl's Jr. That's dedication, I tell you. Dedication. It's not my fault. There's not that many Carl's Juniors by me anymore. They opened a few in DFW, and then they closed a few in DFW. And so I got to go all the way to Anna, Texas to get Carl's Jr. You know where Anna, Texas is? If you're not familiar with Texas, that's north of McKinney, which is north of Dallas. I am a, I am halfway to Oklahoma, baby. Halfway to Oklahoma, in the middle of God's country. Nothing like a good scenic drive to get a burger. I'm okay with that. I hope you are too. So what we're doing here today is Carl Jr. has decided to put cheesesteak on an Angus Thick Burger. Their Angus Thick Burger is really good. I don't know about their cheesesteak. What? You know what? Let's just get it out and see. First thing I love about Carl's Jr. is when you order a large fry, man, you get a large fry. I mean, that is a big, big French fry right here. Mmm. And they do have good fast food fries, man. They even make you make you think they're fresh cut, huh? Well, not. You know they came out of a freezer bag. But they are salty and they are good. Mmm. I really dig their fries. They're not too crispy on the outside. Um, so you probably wouldn't want these sitting around for a 30 minute drive home or nothing. If you're eating them fresh from the drive through you're good to go. And now what we've all been waiting for, the Harl's Jr. 100% Angus beef, thick burger. Look at this, look at this. I got a free fry. Uh, mm. Oh, I love finding bonus fries. This is the Philly Angus thick burger. We'll go open up, boom, 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 boom. Get out. Now I ordered it just now. Came. I didn't edit it. I didn't do anything. Look at that cheese right there. I like that cheese. Go, oh my God, and the onion and the pepper. I'm already enamored. I'm already enamored. I can tell you right now, if this tastes good, I'm already a fan. This cheese has me drooling, baby. Look at that. Let's get this baby going here. Okay. I'm gonna get it out of the wrapper. Which is dangerous because it's gonna fall all over the car. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. Look at all that cheese. Oh, I wonder if it's cheese whiz. Ooh. Eee, nothing better than a Philly cheesesteak with cheese whiz. Put it on a burger. It's bound to be good, right? All right. Well, here's the taste test. Wait, let's open it up real quick. Okay. Okay. Not a whole lot of Philly on there. But uh, uh, enough to make it taste good, I'm sure, huh? And that yummy, yummy cheese dripping everywhere. And uh, yeah, onions, peppers. Let's get it. Let's get it before my whole car is covered in cheese. Mm. Oh my God, look at my ham. There's cheese everywhere. Okay, okay. First impression, that's a lot of cheese. <laughs> mm. Mm, it's just dripping. I should have left that in the bag. Um, burger's good. Tastes like an Angus Thick Burger. Tastes like an Angus bur Thick Burger and a whole lot of cheese. There's some mayonnaise underneath. Man, this is a mess. Oh, my God. This thing is falling apart. I gotta eat faster. First thing I gotta say, this thing is a total mess, man. You need to keep the box handy for all your drippings. I mean, it's just everywhere. It's just all over the place. It's in my beard. Oh, my God. This is not an easy sandwich to eat. Does it taste good though? So far, I'm not getting a lot of Philly. So far, I, I mean, I love the burger. I love this cheese. It's everywhere. This is a mess. I love messy burgers like this. I like the onions and I like the peppers. I'm not getting a lot of taste out of this, this Philly though. I mean, okay, that was a much better bite. Here's the problem. If every bite had that amount of Philly that I just got on it, this would be badass. It just doesn't have enough Philly for me. It's really good. I really like the taste. Mmm, yeah, okay. So all the Philly is on the back part of my burger. I wish it was on the whole thing. If it was on the whole thing, it'd be better. But, you know, hey, it's fast food. They're not going to give you a whole lot of Philly on your burger. 
the parts that have the Philly, I give a big fat thumbs up, baby. That is really good. The problem is, it just doesn't have it everywhere. Just not enough Philly. So my good, better, best scale, this gets the top of the good. It's good. If it had more Philly, I'd give it at the top of the better. For sure. Because this is really good. I love this cheese. This cheese, you know what? Based on this cheese alone, I will go to a medium better. How's that? Just based on this cheese. Because this cheese is a mess and I love tons of cheese. Boom. There you go. The definitive Philly Thick Burger Review. Thanks so much for watching this video. Thanks so much for watching all the way to the end. And I appreciate you and I appreciate all those likes, subscribes, and comments. Hit this next video if you want to. And until next time, keep trying new food from Carl's Jr. And we'll see you.